Hello. It's good to see you. Happy Halloween. We are here today to take a look at my outfit, my little costume for Halloween. It's nothing crazy, but it's something I've always kind of wanted to do. Every year when I would see this costume, I would go, I really want to do that, but I'm already doing this this year, so maybe later. Well, I finally decided to go ahead and do it this year. It's um, it's it's nothing ridiculous, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you, and I'm gonna show you the accessories, and then I'm gonna try it on. It's always good to try on your costume before Halloween, which I've already done, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on again. I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah, it's really exciting, and then we're gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna do a little add-on to this costume. Uh, let me show it to you first. It is a poodle skirt. It's like a 50s costume. Look at my little poodle on my skirt. I tried to paint my nails a color that would kind of match this. It's not really, it's kind of pink, but it's more of a salmon color. When I first saw the pictures of it, I thought it was going to be a pink skirt, but it's actually kind of a, like a coral or a salmon color. And it, this A doesn't mean anything. I'll, I got this on Amazon and they all have an A on them. So, um, but I just decided to go with a little strand of faux white pearls to go with it. And I have a wig for it too. I looked around online at some, I just looked for 50s wigs and I didn't really find anything that I really liked. Um, so I actually am going to use one that I already had purchased for something else. Um, to go with this, we have a wide elastic belt and now this belt actually came with the costume so it's going to go right across here right at the waist give you a nice little cinched in waist and I also got this uh, this met this uh, sheer scarf came with the costume as well I might just tie that around my neck or something I'd, I'm not really sure but so this is the costume and I knew for a skirt like this, I was going to need a crinoline for it. If you're not familiar with what a crinoline is, I'm going to show you one. But I also needed shoes to go with this and some other accessories, and I'm going to show you those. Um, I have them all st stuffed into this shoe box here. Funtasma. I got these on eBay. I wanted some saddle shoes to go with my costume. And of course, you need your frilly little ankle socks as well. So I have a little pair of these frilly lace ankle socks. They have some little pearls sewn onto the lace. So I have these little ankle socks. And the shoes also came with I've had to buy the socks separately, but the shoes came with this pair of glasses. These are awesome. They're just like clear lenses, but they're very cute. These came with my shoes and a pair of socks came with the shoes, but they were, they were just like regular white calf link socks and I didn't like them. But these are my little, these are my little saddle shoes. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot on them because I thought I'm going to wear these for one night and that's it, you know. But I found this pair in my size on eBay. They're a little scuffy, but I'm not really worried about it. They're very cute little saddle shoes, you see. So, of course, I'm going to pair with the saddle shoes my little frilly ankle socks here. And my glasses and my scarf and everything it is just the most adorable little outfit and it's surprisingly comfortable it's very comfortable you know some Halloween costumes are just not they're just not very comfortable and you can't wait to just change back into regular clothes this I don't mind at all I would wear this any day and so here is my here is my wig and it doesn't look like much just Holding it like this but I had this pretty little sort of a has a flip to it this little blonde wig I think I wore this in that travel agent 
video I did a while back where I had on all the yellow. I think that's the only time I've worn this wig in a video. I bought it for something different, but now I don't remember what I was going to do with it. <laughs> for, um, yeah, so I'm going to wear this little wig with the costume. So there's that. And I'm going to show you a crinoline now. So this, this is what a crinoline looks like when, when you receive it. This is from Grace Karen? Karen? I don't know. I got it on Amazon. I wanted a knee-length full crinoline. That's what this is. I'm going to take it out and show you. Of a crinoline is that it sits under your skirt and it's going to make it flare out a little bit more. Really my only experience with the crinoline would be with prom dresses or wedding dresses, um, but this used to be something that women wore all the time. You know, it was very common. There are different types of crinoline. You have crinolines, you have some that stick out more than others. You have hoop skirts, um, all different kinds of things. But this one is perfect. I did find though, there is a nylon slip under it. This little layer right here. But even with this nylon slip, it's still kind of scratchy when you wear it. So I'm gonna put on an additional slip under it so it doesn't feel quite so scratchy. But with the crinoline, it kind of sits up by itself. I have it sitting on my lap. But this is the waist here. It has kind of a high waist. And you're gonna put this on under your skirt. So that is a crinoline, C-R-I-N-O-L-I-N-E, crinoline, petticoat, yes. So that's going to go under the skirt, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to go put my costume on, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the wig and everything, and then we're going to do something a little different. Okay, now that we have everything ready, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to look a little different when I come back. I'm going to take the wig off. I'm going to take all my makeup off, and then we're going to do some, like, zombie makeup. <laughs> okay, here I am. I have no makeup on. Um, I didn't put on any moisturizer or any primer or anything because I was looking at the instructions on here, and it says you should clean your face and apply this stuff to a clean, dry face. So my face is clean and dry. So I'm gonna show you what I have here. Now this is not gonna be anything elaborate. We're just gonna do some vague zombie makeup. We're in my little bathroom downstairs because this is really the only bathroom in my house that has even halfway decent lighting. Like the other bathrooms, the lighting is awful. <laughs> so it's, it's a little unnaturally bright in here, but it'll work. Okay. I bought several things. I'm not gonna use, I don't think I'll end up using all of this. Um, I got just some white cream makeup. I got this at Walmart for 98 cents. And I'm not showing it to you, I'm not showing it to you right. Whenever, you ever notice how in some makeup tutorials, when they go to show you stuff, they go, what does this indicate? Or they'll have two products. I think I'm doing it wrong. They do this thing. What is this? What is this? I don't know. So I have, I have white and I have some zombie gray cream makeup. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just sort of spackle some of this stuff on my face. And I also bought, I also bought a Deadly Mime makeup kit. Now I'm not a makeup artist, okay? I'm just not. But I mainly wanted to do some black around the eyes, so mainly I got it for that. I don't think I'm going to do a bunch of blood or anything like that. 
you know, we have a lot of kids come by, and some of them are really small, and I, I'm not trying to look scary. You know, I just thought it would be fun to do a 50s costume with some zombie makeup added to it. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to get these open, and then we're going to start just smacking the stuff on my face. Boy, I tell you what, I was trying to take this out. I completely demolished the nail polish on my thumb somehow. I was pulling it apart, and then it's like the plastic just kind of gouged my nail polish. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to redo my thumb at some point. Okay, so I, I got everything out. I, I'm not familiar with makeup. I think the last time we did any makeup was when I did the Joker, and I was still living in the apartment at that point. So that was a long time ago. That was what five Halloweens ago. Yeah, nuts. All right, I'm gonna try. A little makeup sponge I guess and I'm gonna be looking past you because I have a mirror right there oh it's watery all right Ooh. so oh it's quite thin maybe I need to shake it up somehow I don't know I don't want to get it in my eye you know I probably could have just done like some zinc or something. Of course, that would have been a real pain to wash off. This stuff is supposed to come off easily. I don't know. But we'll just do this all over. I suppose. Yeah, I, I'm i not a makeup person. I'm not a hair person. And I'm not a, a cooking person. I can help you file a patent application. I could mow your yard. Um, I have a really good weed eater technique, but this kind of thing, not so much. Okay. I don't guess it matters if it gets in my hair. I'm not really worried about it. It's Halloween. Oh my goodness, we're going to have so many kids. Everybody I know that has kids, they're all going trick-or-treating this year. A lot of people didn't, didn't do anything last year. Um, Everybody I know that has kids is, is doing it this year, so this is awesome. <laughs> Olive is right outside the door. She's watching me trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm thinking maybe I should do another coat. Like, I'll just bring it on down. I get my ear a little bit. Ooh, that feels slimy. <laughs> No, yeah, the go I don't want to look like super scary, I, you know, because they're little bitty kids, right? And sometimes if you have on a really scary costume, they get scared. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Mm -hmm. It's okay if it's not even. I mean, I'm a zombie. I don't really concern myself with it. Okay, my face is clean and dry. It should not be sticking to anything. the unevenness is actually kind of neat. I still have little places on the sides of my nose from my glasses. I got up and got all my work done really early this morning. I had work to do. Oh, dang it. Why is it doing that? Well, we're going to come back over it with gray. weird on me. Maybe I should just stop. We'll just go to the gray. So that was just the white and then I have this gray stuff. I'm glad I bought this stuff early. I bought this stuff over a month ago. Think it, yes, she's talking to me. I had already decided I wanted to do this so I went ahead and bought this stuff early because I was in Walmart the other day. They don't have any of this anymore. It's all gone. Ooh. How much should I do in a gray? We'll leave that kind of blotchy too. It's like I, I'm a zombie that had a, a rough night out. I've been out drinking a little bit. The 
the zombies had a rough life. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get all over my scarf. <laughs> I always find an excuse to go somewhere on Halloween in my costume. It's usually somewhere like the grocery store. <laughs> oh, people always get a kick out of it. I just feel like I'm putting on a face mask, like, you know, a, a, a beauty mask of some sort. Okay. Ooh, pretty. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all this in black, I think. I wonder what would happen if you just took a little bit more white and just kind of smeared it on there. Oh, it's especially gross, okay. What should I do to my lips? I don't know. I probably need to make them kind of gray, don't I? Make them look a little bit more muted. My face looks so blotchy. Oh. It's very blotchy. Ew. Okay. I don't care. Now. They gave me this eyeliner pencil eyeliner pencil. I'm going to try it, but it, it may suck. It's just a, it's a cheap makeup set uh, eyeliner. And again, that's not going to have to be perfect because ultimately I'm going to do all this kind of black. I'm just going to pretend it's about 1994 and I just line the crap out of my eyes for no real reason and I have on like a velvet choker and my hair is kind of a burgundy color yeah oh my god that looks like crap Oh shoot, I was going to tell you my story of Halloween. I forgot until just now. A lot of y'all already know it. Um, Halloween for me as a kid. Oh, if you've already heard me, just bear with me. Pretend I'm not, you know, I'm like your grandma and she always tells, uh, it's usually grandpas, I think, that tell the same stories over and over. Um, but when I was four, I had never been trick-or-treating. My mom had not taken us. My brother was eight. And we were begging her, you know, can we please go trick-or-treating? Please, please, please. And uh, and it wasn't like a religious thing, you know. There are a lot of people that, you know, just don't, they don't do Halloween. I get it. No, it wasn't like that. She just, she hated doing stuff like that. She She's never been a big fan of any holidays or anything that causes extra bother. She just hates stuff like that. So she said, fine, fine, I'll take I'll take you trick-or-treating. I'm trying this this stuff right here. I was gonna do my eyes in this color, but it's hard as a rock. I'm trying to get out. So she said, fine, fine, whatever, I will take you trick-or-treating. Well, she was gonna make our, our costumes. I'm trying this and it's it's not doing what I want it to do. I don't like this sponge. I'm gonna try this. It came with a little brush, like a little paint brush. I'm just gonna try that. That's better. So she was gonna make our costumes. And she was really good at that kind of thing. She actually made most of our clothes. And uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So my brother wanted to be Robin Hood. He loved the story of Robin Hood, and we, I 
think we had seen the, the, what is it, the Disney version of Robin Hood. I think we had seen that. And he really, he wanted to be Robin Hood for Halloween. So my mom made him this Robin Hood costume and he already had, he had this bow and arrow. He became fascinated with bows and arrows and, you know, shooting arrows. Anyway, so he was really into that. So she made him this Robin Hood costume. And I don't remember having anything in particular I wanted to be. I was four. So she made me a Maid Marian costume, which basically consisted of one of my nightgowns. And I think I had like a little, some kind of little hat made out of aluminum foil or I don't know what it was. It was uh, very last minute, I think. So, um, so we're all dressed up and, and excited, you know, hey, we're going trick-or-treating because I had never been. And I, I don't remember her taking my brother before that. So we're all excited. Somewhere I have a picture of us in our costumes. And you can see on our little faces, like we're, we're both just like, you know, we were standing by the door, just, it was, it was probably one of those pictures where my mom made us stand there and, you know, smile and we're, you know, we just want to go. We don't want to mess with pictures. We just want to go. So we live down in the middle of nowhere. We had to drive quite a distance. I mean, I'm not talking like four hours or anything, but we, you have to drive a ways to get to a place where you can actually trick or treat. So we go into town to trick or treat. And my mom had just kind of parked at the end of the street. And my brother and I got out and we ran up to the houses, you know, and um, I remember we didn't have Halloween candy bags or anything. She, I think she just gave us like pillowcases to put our candy in. So we go running up and we got to go to a couple of houses. And then she came driving up to pick us up. So we did like half a street. And for some reason she was going to take us somewhere else. We didn't get to finish the street. So we're going down the street in the car. And these kids, like these teenage boys, come jumping out of the bushes and egged our car. They weren't just picking on us. I mean, like they were egging just random people. It's not like they targeted us or anything. And I can still remember the way it sounded when those eggs hit the car. There were some that hit the windshield. I think one hit the hood of the car and the door. And you made this dull kind of a thud sound. And uh, so it made this dull thud sound. And so there was egg on the car and on the windshield and my mom at least had the presence of mind to know that she couldn't turn the windshield wipers on i don't know what i'm doing am i being a, am i a cat what the heck am i doing i don't know <laughs> Ooh. so fortunately though there was a car wash not too far away. She had to roll her window down to be able to see to get to the car wash because you know, she couldn't turn the windshield wipers on because it would just smear all over the windshield. She knew that. I don't like that. that. I shouldn't have done that. Now I just look like I'm trying to be a bunny rabbit or something. Oh, it makes a nice, nice darkness. I'm also not Charlie Chaplin. Get off there. Okay. So she gets to the car wash and it was, it was a bit chilly that night. I remember all I had, I had my little nightgown on and I remember being cold, but I didn't want to put a jacket on over my costume. And so she told us to stay in the car because don't get out. So she put some money in the thing and it, she's just spraying like water on the windshield to wash the egg off. And it took her a minute and she got back in the car and she was furious. She was absolutely furious. She was livid. She said, we are never doing this again. 
We are never doing this again. And she never took us trick or treating again. That was it. We didn't get to go to any Halloween parties. We didn't get to do, we did nothing for Halloween after that. So I got to go trick or treating down half a street. Personally, I think she overreacted. I think it was kind of messed up myself, but I just look messed up. What if I did? Now I'm just playing with the makeup. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't want it to be too frightening. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to put, I'm not going to put any blood or anything on my face. Because I'm going to be answering the door and giving out candy and I don't want to freak anybody out. So, yeah, I never got to really do anything else for Halloween. We didn't really do much of anything for any holiday, which I always hated because I would always get so excited for Halloween and Christmas and stuff, and it was just like, nah, we're not doing anything for that. Oh, you want to go to a party? I'm not taking you. I'm not, I, she just couldn't be bothered. So, but it's kind of fun now because I can do whatever I want. That's the great thing about being an adult is that you, if you can... There might be things that you couldn't do as a kid, but you can now. You still can. It's not too late. I still enjoy Halloween. I still enjoy dressing up and doing silly things. I mean, like this. I still enjoy it. It's awesome. So maybe I didn't get to enjoy it as a kid, but I can't now. So and that's why every year I do whatever I want for Christmas. I do my tree however I want to do it. I decorate however I want to, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, re I, I highly recommend it. You know, if there are things you didn't get to enjoy, it's not too late. You can still do it now. You don't have to have kids to enjoy this stuff. Just dress up and go have a good time. So I'm going to put my wig and everything back on and we will see what it looks like. I'll put back together again. <laughs> All right, here we have it. Look at this. I am, what am I? I am a 50s zombie lady. I am a 50s zombie lady. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, yes, there we have it. I am a 50s zombie individual. I love it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to be going out and trick or treating or anything, but I'm going to thoroughly enjoy handing out candy tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a fantastic Halloween wherever you are, whatever you're doing, even if you're not doing anything for Halloween. I hope you just have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really soon.